Hello everyone, welcome to the signal system class. In this presentation, we will find out the jet transform of shifted unit impulse that is delta t minus nt. We are given a function ft which is equal to delta t minus nt which is a shifted unit impulse and we are required to find out the jet transform of this function. First we will prove that the sample output f star t is equal to ft. That is we have to prove that f star t is equal to ft and that will be equal to delta t minus nt. Now from a chapter on jet transform we saw that whenever a continuous function ft is fed to a sampler then we get a sampled output which is denoted by f star t which is a discrete sampled function and it can be written as f star t is equal to ft into delta t into t where delta t t represents a periodic train of unit impulses which are spaced t seconds apart from each other. The plot of delta t t has been shown in this graph from which we find that this is a periodic train of unit impulses which are t seconds apart from each other and the magnitude of each pulse is equal to 1. Similarly, this is the graph of a delayed impulse function delta t minus nt that is the graph of the shifted unit impulse function delta t minus nt. Now from this equation we find that f star t is equal to ft into delta t into t. So we have substituted the value of ft in this equation which is equal to delta t minus nt so that f star t will be equal to delta t minus nt into delta t into t. Now the superscript star is used to indicate that this function f star t is a discrete sampled function and we find out the jet transform of a discrete sampled function. Now this delta t, t is equal to delta t minus nt. So, we will substitute the value of delta t t as delta t minus n t. So, we get this equation that is f star t is equal to delta t minus n t into delta t minus n t and this will again be equal to delta t minus n t and what is delta t minus n t? It is equal to f t. So, we have proved that f star t is equal to f t and that is equal to delta t minus n t. Now, we will find the jet transform of this shifted unit impulse that is jet transform of the function f t will can be written as Laplace transform of f star t when the value of e to the power s t is equal to z. The value of f star t is delta t minus n t so we have substituted this value in this in place of f star t. So we get Laplace transform of delta t minus n t when we substitute the value of e to the power st is equal to z and from a chapter on Laplace transform we found out the Laplace transform of this shifted unit impulse which comes out to be e to the power minus nts. So here in place of this we can write that the Laplace transform of delta t minus nt is equal to e to the power minus nts when the value of e to the power st is equal to z. Now on solving this we get that f the j transform of the function will be equal to j to the power minus n that is the j transform of the shifted unit impulse will be equal to j to the power minus n. Now from this we derive the conclusion that the j transform of impulse function delta t will be equal to j transform of delta t minus n t when we substitute the value of n is equal to 0 in this equation and we have already found out the jet transform of this shifted unit impulse. So, we can write this as j to the power minus n when the value of n is equal to 0. If we substitute the value of n in this equation then we find that the jet transform of unit impulse comes out to be 1 that is jet transform of unit impulse is equal to 1. So, in this way we can find out the 
z transform of the shifted unit impulse which comes out to be z to the power minus n and similarly the z transform of unit impulse function comes out to be 1. This is how we find out the z transform of shifted unit impulse and the z transform of the impulse function. So that is all in this presentation. See you in the next presentation.